Hi everyone, it's Gemini here. I'm making a little bit of a different video because um, I think I just had a lot of questions over time and I just kind of feel like I just, I you know, about my family and how many kids I have and and just basically like, um, because I, I say that I, I, I can't have kids and then people think that I'm lying. There's other ways to get kids, and I'm going to tell you my story. I don't like telling my story. I don't like sympathy. I don't tell my story because I cry too much. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to try my best to look in the camera because I can't... <sighs> I have a habit of not being able to, to look at the lens when I'm talking. I look everywhere else and that's just because that's who I am. <laughs> um, I'm already crying. I haven't even started my story yet, people. Woo! Okay. So I've written it down because I know that I am horrible at speaking. And I'm going to start. I'm going to start with um, background. <laughs> My life has not always been easy. I grew up with my mother, my grandmother, and my, grand my grandfather. My mom had two kids, me, the oldest, and my brother. I think at a very young age, I was left with a lot of responsibility. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is not me cry about either. Like, okay. One, uh, uh, I basically grew up with a bipolar um, mother. Uh, she has uh, multiple personalities. I tried growing up as a little kid going through that. That that will screw somebody up. <laughs> um she had her highs and her lows and you know and uh she's probably going to watch this and she's probably going to be really upset. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> um she doesn't seem to think that I had that bad of a childhood, but she tends to forget a lot of the things that she does. Basically, um, I had to take my brother everywhere, so I was like his mama. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of responsibility, um, which is, you know, it, it's normal for any kid to have responsibility when they're young, but... I had a little bit more than most because my mom was not only just my mother, but she was my child too. Um, fast forwarding <laughs> through that, I um, my life all changed when Rosie uh, knocked on my door. She was three and a half months pregnant and didn't want the baby. Now, a couple months prior to that, I had found out that I could not have children. Um, I have just stuff that was wrong with me, uh, to where like, it would be really hard. I would have to go through all kinds of needles and testing and stuff like that and I wasn't with anybody at the moment so I wasn't really I, I was depressed about it but I was a I wasn't with anybody to try to have a baby anyways but um anyways so I said yes of course that I would take the baby um when when Adrena was born she was uh the most beautiful baby in the world. 
she had a helmet of hair, I always said. She was my my little Mexican cabbage patch doll. <laughs> oh, she was. She had the most the thickest hair, like just she's so cute. I'm gonna have to post a picture up here. I'll I'll do that. So you could see her. I was a single mom and I was on my own. I lived in a back house. Uh I was working full time. Um it may not have been perfect situation for everyone, but it was perfect for me. <laughs> Considering all, just considering my whole situation, you know, my so uh, let's see. I didn't um. So, and I say that because, okay, so basically I was, um, single up until she was four months old. I ended up with my now husband, Carlos. And now Carlos, he's a whole nother story. I know him for 12 years prior to that. So I grew up with this man <laughs> since I was 12 years old until I got Adrena. He came back into my life and it was like that he treated her as if she came for me and him and she wasn't he was in love with her and that was his baby girl and that was his daughter and he didn't treat her any different um carlos was working and he got a job and um well he was working and we ended up getting our own place we got engaged we got married <clears throat> adrena is now six years old <laughs> um Carlos came with his own set of kids. He has a boy and a girl, Angel and Marina. I am their stepmama. Um, their mom is in and out of jail. She's an addict. So she's never really had her shit together. So I'm the closest thing they have to a mama, and I am their mom. <laughs> I am their mom. Like, they call me mom, and they decided that on their own. Um, I've been the only person consistent person with them in their life so you know i wasn't only just blessed with the dream i was blessed with two other children <laughs> and um yeah so he just he helped me raise adrena i helped him raise his kids it's we just been one blended family ever since they don't live with us, even though we're trying to fight for custody of them. They live with their grandfather. Um, that was not a choice of Carlos's. The mom gave guardianship over to, to the grandpa, so we're trying to get custody of them. Um, let me see. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. So basically, okay, so now we're getting into where I got Aubrey. Then her name was um, AJ. Well, his biological name was uh, Abel. And nickname-wise, we called him AJ. So I I met AJ when he was four months, and that's because... His mom, his biological mother, lived across the street from me, and she was married to my husband's first cousin. Now, this girl, okay, <laughs> this girl, I've known her since i known, as long as I've known Carlos. She was my best friend. She was friends with my best friend. I didn't like her. To me, she was a bad influence. My, it was to a point to where when my best friend was hanging out with her, I would not hang out with them because I didn't like her. I didn't like her habits. I didn't like her influences. And I was right. You know, I was I was right. Even at a young age, you know, I was just right, like, not to hang out with her. Um, she has five kids. Four from one guy and then the fifth child, which is... AJ from a different person 
Well, throughout her whole pregnancy, she was in prison. Um, while she was in prison, I was watching all of her other girls, because they were all girls, um, ranges from aged 5 to 2. She had a set of twins, so it was 5, 3, and then two two-year-olds. So I was watching them, um, but then before she got out of prison, I stopped watching them because I didn't want her to be upset that I was watching her kids and she didn't like me. But I was basically doing my cousin a favor, <laughs> watching her kids, you know? I don't care. I, I mean, her kids her kids were amazing, you know? They're, they're, I have nothing against them at all, you know? This is, the problem that I have is with the mother. Um, so basically, I watched them for a few years, and then they weren't together, so she didn't really care. Well, anyway, she got out of, of jail, um, prison, and she had uh, um, AJ. And she found out that I was watching her girls, and, you know, right when you get out of prison, you're clean. You, you know, basically, the person... <laughs> that's clean is the person that I like. You know, she's a different, totally different person when she's clean. So she um, she got a job and she wanted me to watch her kids for her. All five of them, plus my one. Um, I wasn't working at the time and my husband was working with her now ex-husband, which is my husband's first cousin. So they were working together and she needed someone to watch the kids, so I was watching all of them. Well, I started to notice a change a few months a few months into our me watching the kids and us becoming friends. I noticed ooh, I I mean me growing up with who I grew up with, I know the signs, you know. So it was more so like I can tell when when she relapsed and she just she denied, denied, denied. And I was like, no, there's something different. You know, I know that something's wrong, but you're not wanting to tell me right now, but eventually you will. And so I was watching them, but basically she just started, like, neglecting. Um, she, she nailed all the windows shut. She closed all the windows. She was getting evicted from her house. Um, AJ was being watched by the younger sisters, and it, it he wasn't... Okay... I started watching him at, at five, four, at four months. Okay, at four months, my daughter was able to roll. She was able to like, you know, grasp, you know, kind of things. You know, like she was able to do certain things. Oh boy. And um, basically, he wasn't there yet. Like he wasn't like his motor skills was not on point. He couldn't lift up his head. Like, and I'm like, what is she, like, I, when I'm there, I put him on his tummy and stuff like that. But I guess when she was watching him, she had him in his bouncer, um, you know, just laying down or in his crib laying down all the time. Uh, the only time he'd really get picked up was whenever she felt like she had time or whatever. I don't know what she was doing. Well, anyways, um, I started seeing, like, he had really bad cradle crap on his head. And I would make up excuses like, oh, I'll, I'm going to take him. Like, I miss him. I just want to, can I watch him? And then I would take him and I would take him just to take him a bath. And I would scrub his little head and, and, and clean him all up. And um, I would buy him new bottles because every time he came over, he had, you know, like the, the nipple of the bottle, what, it would turn white. And it looked like cottage cheese, but nothing would come out. And I would boil the nipples. And she would just literally poke another hole in it and just keep going but I I started buying him new bottles and then I would never see those bottles again I would never see the clothes that I would buy him or send him home with nothing like nothing well um she had had a conversation with me one time she said hey if anything was to ever happen would you would you ever uh get guardian take guardianship of of AJ for me and I told her well why what's going on she was like well I'm just asking if anything was to happen and I was like well yeah you know like if if you really needed me to I would um I'm gonna cut that off right here because it is now 15 minutes long so um 
Stay tuned for part two of when I got AJ.